All right, wrapping up the carnival here at the Meadows, the Tab Australian Cup Carnival for 2020. Race number 12 over the 525. Wiz, where are you headed here? I'm with Easy Choice. She's a little sister to Hooked on Scotch, and she was awesome winning at Sandown last start from box seven. She also had box seven in a win here going back four or five runs ago, so wide draws, no problem. The little stumbling block could be the seven Red Hot Chevy, who, while she can be a bit hit and miss, she ran 504 to the first mark at Sandown last start, and she's got the pace to make things awkward for Easy Choice, so I don't think it's straightforward. I think the dog who's over the odds is the yellow, Road to Success. Uh, he's got a good record here. Tricky draw, but he's in really good touch. His last two wins at Geelong and Sandown have been, well, one in really good style. So if he gets any luck from the five, I think he's he's a tremendous price at $11. I could certainly have something on him, Road to Success. Don't let him get under your guard here, punters. Uh, Gladioli Bale, she's got box one, draw suits as she can. Again, she can be hit and miss early, but she went 5.07 to the first mark here recently, and she's... A Pup on the way up, and Shanlo, Shanlon Dino for four. So I went eight to beat five, who I think's tremendous price, as I said, one and two. Patch is best better than I. It's easy choice, so we'll bring him in. It is easy choice, Jason. Of course, uh, a little sister to Hooked on Scotch, so she's part of a really good litter, and just think tonight with so much speed from her and also from the one or inside Red Hot Chevy, they'll charge across, and I think they're going to be the two out in front, and in terms of the second half of the race, I think Easy Choice might be able to get the better. So, yeah, it did make her my best All tonight. Right. We'll just catch up with Las Vegas Langscale here and get uh, an update on the last. Easy Choice out of the box eight has been easy in the last three minutes. As short as 250, out to 290. Lady Oli Vale out of the box one has been the tightener throughout today's betting 550 to 380. And as you also touched on, Jason King Gristle out of the box four. $16 was the opening price. Has been easy today, but 16 was the openers. Now seven fifty. Thank you, Mr. Trent Langscale. Of course, we are wrapping up the meeting here from the Meadows and the Carnival, the Tab Australian Cup Carnival for 2020. Coming to a close, it's been fantastic calls right throughout from this man upstairs. It is Ron Hawksall. He'll call us home in the last. Well, thanks, Dan and Boeing's getting set now. Uh, for the last on the card, and Steve joining us on RSN. Getting set now, last on Tab Australian Cup night. Getting set, coming in. 290, easy choice off the outside. Ready to go there, set. Already set, racing. And going out very fast, a easy choice on the outside up to join Gladiolo Bale. Getting up on the inside there is Shanlon Dino, followed for the back of the race then by Red Hot Chevy. Going to the back straight now. And the leader dashing away in front here was Gladiolo Bale. It's about four or five out in front of a Dino Varian, followed then by Red Hot Chevy. Behind them then came Shanlon Dino, followed then by King Gristle. Out to the tail of the field there. Road to success and out to the tail with easy choice. In the straight, a rails run for Dino Varian now. It drove to the lead and race clear to beat Gladiolo Bale followed by Shanlon Dino. Gap of the race end road to success. And then King Grissom followed further back then by Red Hot Chevy. And one of the last in their easy choice. And the time is showing around 30.01. Rough result to wrap up the carnival. Dino Varian, $18.350. Takes it out from Gladioli Bale at $1.10 and $2.60 for Shanlon Dino. That wraps it up for the Tab 2020 Australian Cup Carnival here at the Meadows. And boys, it's been a fantastic carnival right throughout. Highlights left, right and centre. Patch, we'll start off with you. Quick highlight from you before we wrap it up. Well, it's been the, I guess, the, the month of the Birmingham's, really, with uh, Ready to Write, Progeny getting the job done and terrific stories all around. Of course, Fernando's right. And, her, and his owner, Craig Roberts, his first experience in greyhound racing, it's been an absolute fairy tale story, there's no doubt. Well, it certainly has. Wiz, where have you looked in terms of a highlight? I'd probably go back to the first week. I thought Whiskey Riot's win in the Temley was full of guts and courage, and that was probably the highlight of the entire carnival. But on a personal note, the highlight for me was seeing Craig Roberts, yeah, nice. first dog, really genuine bloke, um, take out the cup tonight. We'll have him on the pen on Tuesday night as well. We'll get him to bring the trophy in. There we go. Why not? But Absolutely. it's been a fantastic carnival, plenty of highlights, and Whiskey Riot has been fantastic throughout. But Fernando's right. The brother got the job done in the uh, big one tonight, the Tab Australian Cup for 2020. It's been a pleasure having you company. Thanks to the boys here as well. Hopefully we've been able to find you plenty of winners. Mark, as we head it back to you. Thanks, guys.